open up the window I'm breathing in the last of September I can feel the wind blow And the late summer sky is like a giant ember I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm currently current, up to date with you today. But the vlog that you're gonna be watching is from last last week. I have so many vlogs to go live. Like I've got two ready to go that I've just not posted and I don't know why I've not done it. And then I've got a vlog from last week and a vlog from this week. So I have so many vlogs to put live and I've still not done it. But I thought I'd come on here just because, as I said, it was filmed like a week ago. I just wanted to come on here, talk to you guys, catch up, and then we can get into the vlog. First things first, I was just about to do my makeup and realized my makeup bag's not here. I'm praying I've left it in the car and not left it at my sister's in London because we were in London yesterday. I did vlog a little bit, um, so you will see that. I don't know in what vlog. So I'm having to go through my PR box and like spare makeup and try and put together some kind of makeup look without it looking absolutely terrible. But yeah, as I said, we were in London yesterday. I did try and vlog, but it kind of was just a big fail. Maybe I'll actually just include the clips in a minute just because I barely got any, which is so annoying because I always try and I go with the idea of filming these things and then I never end up filming. I've got no brushes because they're all in my makeup bag. But um, I don't want to put too much stuff on my face because my skin is so sensitive so I don't know what's going to react and what's not. But I use this foundation on a daily, um, but this is a different shade. I have three shades of it. I have seven, I have eight, and I have 7.5. 7.5 is my favourite. I also love the Flawless, no it's not that, Beautiful Skin Foundation um, from Charlotte Tilbury also. But I always go with the intention of vlogging these it's just the right shade, yeah. Of vlogging these events. But in all honesty, I just end up getting really anxious. And like, I don't even know why they're obviously all my friends. But I don't know. I just get, I feel like I'm just not, especially right now, I'm just, just not feeling my best. And I just feel so insecure that it makes me paranoid and anxious about everything. And I just get very anxious about these kind of things. I don't know why, like I honestly couldn't tell you. Um, I'm just quite an anxious person. I feel like I also get anxious about the fact that I'm wary that it also might come across rude, but actually I just end up getting really anxious. Um, like I didn't really want to be in any pictures. It's a weird one to try and explain. And I find it hard to talk to people that I don't know, just cause I'm like, I just overthink everything. As soon as I left the event and we got in the car, Con was like, right, talk to me. What are you thinking? What's going through your brain? Because that's just how my brain works. Like, it just doesn't stop. I just feel like that's just how my brain works and I wish it didn't. Like I say this all the time, I wish. My brain wasn't wired the way it's wired. Like, it's just so draining, if I'm honest. Um, but yeah. Just wanted to have a little chat about that because I didn't really get any content. I didn't really get any pictures. I didn't get any pictures with Aisha. Um, I didn't get any pictures with Sid or Zell or Georgia, like literally with no one. So if you see people posting pictures <laughs> and I'm not in any of them, just know I was just having a moment yesterday. Also, this is a new addition and I have not put it down since the day I got it. I don't actually think that looks too bad, so that's great. But yeah, I did have such a lovely time yesterday and I just wish and i say this every single time i just wish i lived closer to them all but yeah i just wanted to come on say hello if you're wondering why it's so quiet in the house connor is at work romy is asleep upstairs because he was up a lot last night which is really frustrating i'm always in this like situation of should i go back to sleep or should i get up and do some work and get things done because the kids aren't here um so as you can see i've gone for the option of getting things done i feel like once you're up and about anyway you always feel better but yeah the kids are at my mum's they stayed there last night i'm gonna go and get them today and we are gonna have a nice little day today before noah goes back to school from the half term i've probably just put way too much blush on i also need to redo my nails as i said i've been picking them off and i think again that's like an anxiety thing but yeah i'm gonna finish my makeup and then 
I'll come back to you guys. Okay, makeup looks terrible. Is there anything worse than having to do makeup without the products that you use all the time? Because this is not cutting it. I'm praying I've left it in the car and I've not left it at my sister's. Otherwise, I'm going to be having to order a whole new makeup bag. I swear these things happen to me all the time. I leave things everywhere. Like, I honestly have a brain like a sieve. So baby brain on top of that is just not, it's not the one. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. As I said, I'm going to include the clips from London just because I didn't get too many. Um, and then we continue on with the rest of the vlog, which I think is a nice... I don't know if I should start putting more structure to my videos. You guys let me know. Um, obviously, I just try and film what I do in that week. I feel like they can get very samey though because I do the same things every week. Um, so yeah, you guys just have to let me know what you're thinking. Um, if you're enjoying the videos, if I should do more structured videos, if there's any particular videos you want me to do. I definitely feel like a haul is overdue, but I will have a haul in my next vlog that you will see um, as well, which is exciting. So yeah, I'll see you guys then and I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. things to do work-wise so I'm gonna do whilst I'm sat in the car um but it's only gonna take us an hour and 20 to get to London which it's actually we're going to Clapham aren't we? It's London mate. Is it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so it is Saturday the 4th of November we've got Aisha and Jack's engagement party today but we're going up to see my sister's new house first pretty sure it's like a 20 minute uber to get to where we're going i was hoping to do a little um q a because i was meant to do it in my last video as well but it's pouring with rain so i thought as soon as we get in the tunnel i'm going to talk to you guys and explain it's but it's still really loud in here so yeah i <sighs> i need to stop vlogging anyway until i look better but you can tell that i've been up since half past four hopefully when we can drive home it won't be raining
gonna say they're summer holidays, but it's definitely not summer holidays. It Hello is... everyone! <laughs> We're in full swing of October. It's cold, it's rainy. We'll we'll show everybody your top when we get home, can't we? <gasps> How cool is that? Okay, go show them there. Look, he's got a dinosaur. He's got so many others. All right, do we go? We've got rockets. I can't get out. Oh, um, go, gingerbread man. A gingerbread man. Um, lots, lots of stuff. But anyways, we've just pulled up to home bargains. And we've just got a KFC. Honestly, I watch other people with kids. It genuinely baffles me how they're like it's so quiet when they film because it's just constant noise when I film. Constant. Right, let's head into Home Bargain and see if we can pick anything Halloween y. Oh, I just. To get. It's only going to be a quick shot. This is another clip in a vlog or the start of a new vlog. I feel like I'm vlogging so much at the moment that I just don't know what's going where. But good evening. It's currently 9 pm. I'm in bed. I've got my heated blanket on. I've got Romy next to me. His next to me crib is actually there. He's actually here. He's just currently zonked on the bed, so I'm not gonna move him or disturb him. But I'm trying, I'm gonna try out something different tonight. Um usually feed him at eight around now between eight and nine and he'll go down by nine o'clock and then i'll let him sleep and he'll usually wake anyone between one and the latest he's woke is three um so i'm gonna try my hardest usually it's fine because i go to sleep at that time like i'm not normally awake any later than that um normally i go to sleep about half nine max i'm gonna try and stay awake till at least half ten get some work done and then try and give him a bottle well try and feed him then see if that makes a difference in how long he goes through um i'm hoping i'm not going to shoot myself in the foot and he and then he wake up at his normal time between half one probably ending up being half one <laughs> um but between half one and three I'm just think if i push that feed a little bit later he might be nearer to sleeping through and I'm actually really proud that he sleeps on that big stint anyway half eight till three three o'clock what it was the other night is six seven hours um and that's I think that's really good for a breastfed baby in my complete personal opinion um and in my own experience both of our babies in the past started sleeping through when we transferred them over to formula but i am not looking to do that anytime soon funnily enough i actually have a bottle made up here this is actually neo kate he hasn't tried it yet i'm still unsure whether i'm going to give it to him but we made it earlier because this is a whole other story probably we'll have to talk to you guys about that tomorrow because i feel like i can talk a little bit about my breastfeeding journey in this video for now i'm gonna have to go to bed but i'll explain in the morning i can update you how our night goes i'll speak to you guys then Good morning guys. It is quarter to nine. We had a great night last night. Romy went down about nine o'clock and I tried to stay up as I said I was going to do as late as I could. So I stayed up till, let me check because I did message Con at the time, at 10 to 11 saying I'm going to feed him. He actually just stayed asleep so it was basically a dream feed and I did try the formula with him just because I said I was going to talk to you guys about this today. Basically right now I'm trying to reduce having him on me just because basically a few weeks ago Romy got oral thrush. Luckily I knew what it was um, so I dealt with it quite quickly because Fia had it and with Fia it went quite quickly and it never spread to me and when Romy had it it didn't spread to me but they'd given me cream just in case it did. So his ended up going but I think he must have spread it to me so this is like I feel like all these things you literally just wouldn't even realise happen. But basically it's just been the longest cycle of passing it back and forward to each other and it's so frustrating. I don't think it actually causes him any pain and it's actually something that's quite easy to treat. But uh, yeah, so basically the cream that they've given me, you can't actually ingest. So I want to be able to put the cream on and not have to keep taking it off to feed Romy. So I had been pumping as well so Romy could have the bottles. 
Um, his has cleared up, but I didn't have any expressed milk last night. I just really didn't want to put him on the boob. And obviously we had the option of trying the formula, so I thought, do you know what, let's just try it. He drank it fine, but he was asleep, um, and he winded really well on it. He actually is really good at winding. <laughs> I can just sit him up and he does the biggest burps. But um, when I woke, well, when he woke up to feed, which was at, what time was it? I think it was about quarter past three he woke up. He was sick then, and obviously the only thing I'd done different was give him the formula. So I'm just really hoping that this thrush, this could be TMI, but it really is just one of those things that happens and can be a thing that happens when breastfeeding. Something came up on my TikTok yesterday and it was like, um, a girl I follow called Brittany, she was talking about how she'd lost a tooth because she's pregnant. Um, I also lost half a tooth when I was pregnant with Thea. But yeah, luckily I still got half of it, but hers completely went. And then loads of comments was like, where's the girl with the list? And I was like, what does that mean? So I clicked on the profile and this girl on TikTok has this list of all the things, of all the reasons why she should stay child free and not have a baby. So I feel like this is another thing that would be added onto there thrush it's 10 to 9 i've got so much work to do today i love being busy and i love being able to get my work done i love being able to work obviously it's my choice that i'm still working but at the same time i'm self-employed i don't really have a choice if i don't work i don't get paid i don't i can't pay my bills i can't pay my rent i can't do anything with no money but i picked up my hair dye from my hairdresser yesterday so basically i was meant to be going in the salon today but connor is on call and as i said i've got loads of work to do um so i just got her to pick up the stuff she went to i think it's salon services asked her to pick up the stuff that i need and i collected it last night so we've got 6n which is the darker one to go on my route and then we've got 10m which is the one i actually might have it myself which goes on the ends um which is a bit lighter so i'm gonna do that i've got a wedding at the weekend i'm also I was going to tan last night, but then I thought actually it would be too early to tan before the weekend. So I held off tanning. Um, I'm also going to dye my eyebrows. I'm not going to lie to you guys. These last, this like last week or so has been carnage with the kids. Okay, light one is in and now I don't know if this is right, but I'm going to apply the darker one. We'll see how it turns out. It's looking quite um, dark actually, which I don't mind. I just love... You know, when you have like freshly dyed brunette shiny hair, that's the vibe I'm going for. Wipe off around everywhere I've got it, which is pr probably everywhere. Oh, I forgot to drink my coffee as well. My coffee's gonna be cold. So, guys, my hair is all done now. Obviously, it's not gonna look crazy different because I dyed it the same colour, but so much better. My roots are so much better, much shinier and glossier. I do actually have a, I think it's a Philip Kingsley toner that's a cool down your brown. So I could always put that at the top, which will make it a lot like cooler and darker. So I might do that in a bit, but I have work to do right now, but I am really pleased with it. And my head looks so much healthier and shinier again, which is great. Another busy day in the house. Another day with not enough hours in it. It's 10 to four. The kids are in the bath, as you can hear. Bath time in this house is not anything relaxing. It's so noisy. Um, Con's on the phone, booking our boat for the weekend. Romy is just, literally just here. But yeah, I've got my work done. I. I don't know, I actually really like my hair. I don't know whether I want to do the dark bit or not. If I do, I'll show you guys in a few days because I'm not going to be doing it. I'm not going to be doing it now. We were meant to be going to Matalan today to get some wellies for Noah, some slippers for Fiat, slippers for Noah, shirt for Connor, but not happened. I spilled the shower on me. You spilled the shower on you? I, I sprayed the shower on me. £80. You're joking. So it would have been 160 quid. Sorry, but living on this island it's expensive to get off but yeah i've had a little bit of a spanner in the works with some work um which is kind of setting me back a little bit um well not setting me back it's just adding to my workload <laughs> before we head away for the weekend obviously it's tuesday now basically wednesday there's not a lot of hours left on today to get like off daylight to get things done wednesday got things to prep thursday for for the weekend and then we leave friday morning i'm overwhelmed guys i'm overwhelmed 
don't know where to start on that overwhelmed. Yeah. We have changed our minds. We are actually going to be heading to Matalan in a minute. Um, it's open till 8, so we thought we might as well just go. Just about to have dinner first, but I wanted to show you guys this top. I've had it for a while. It's from Topshop and ASOS. But it's literally my favourite top ever. I know it's so basic, but I'm going to leave it linked down below. These joggers are white box. They're actually broken because I've had them for so many years. But yeah, I love this top so much. It's always something that I want to wear and reach for. I've also just placed a really exciting order from Lululemon. They gave me a gift card to order some bits. I'm so excited to try this stuff. So when that arrives, I'll show you guys in the next weekly diaries. I'm just going to put some jeans on. I'm going to wear these ones that were in my last video from Revolve. I have just fed Rooms and he was asleep but I think he must have wind because he's waking my cup and he's crying. Con's with him, by the way. I feel like I haven't showed Romy much in this video. Bob, do you want to bring him here? There it is. I thought you had wind. I thought you had wind. You say my gorgeous little sleep suit is from Next. Yeah. Oh. So cute. I am so obsessed with you, Romy Romy. And I'm also still so obsessed with his name. I feel like he suits it so well. There's a rainbow for our little rainbow baby. I'm pretty sure it's not even been raining, so that's really strange. Um, and it's not actually sunny. That's really random. Bulga. Chamula. Dill yogurt and roast carrots. I haven't got the dill yogurt though, because obviously I'm dairy free. Just about to leave and it's like absolutely pouring with rain. Doesn't it? I got cooked. Cooked? Yeah, because the water can't get in it. <laughs> yeah, the water will get in your no. hole. Can't believe that we've got a little baby. Yeah. It took long enough, didn't it, for him to come? Yeah, it's not too long to wait for a baby. Oh, I just seen him. On the radio stations, Heart Xmas is a is a option. I was about to say it's a question. Heart Xmas is coming up, which is so exciting. Although it's not playing, I don't know why it's not playing, but the fact that it's there is exciting. Now we just said, "Mummy, I want to go on the beach." We've taught him well. I see it in your eyes. Yeah, I can read the signs You need to get away It's time we make a change Oh, you know you'll always have me Baby, I will always stay with you So put your trust in me We'll work it out, you'll see Someplace far, yeah, we could go for a ride. The two of us, we don't have to stop. Baby, let's go for a ride. You and I, let us run away. We can go where we want. I'll have your back if you'll have me. gym group <laughs> we're actually in the Burger King drive through but we're just getting a drink and I need a burger no you don't need a burger this is the first time I've ever got Dr Pepper like this and oh my god like I'm not I don't mean like Dr Pepper in general but I've always got it obviously in a bottle or a can this I didn't even know they did this at Burger King but this just tastes insane you know how like McDonald's coke tastes better than normal coke this tastes better than normal Dr Pepper. This is amazing. We're home. I'm feeding rooms. And the kids should be tidying up their stuff. Just watching Sid's podcast with Lucy. I've met Lucy and I love her. And I also, of course, you guys know I love Sid. Sid is literally like one of my best friends. So I'm very excited about this. Exciting. You know some people are just born to do something. I feel like both Lucy and Sid have at, like are so good at these kind of things, don't you think? 
Yeah. We've watched a couple of Lucy's um, Topic Tuesday podcast. We've watched the Taylor Blue one as well. Um, I just... I just don't think that'll ever be me. I am just... I'm just, like, so anxious about everything. So, yeah, watching this just puts me in awe of both of them. Especially Tig, because I know how nervous she was to do this. What are you looking at? Are you looking at the telly? What are you looking at? Are you looking at the telly? Is mummy going to have to put the fishies on and I'll watch this in bed? The fishies on and I'll watch this in bed? Yeah! Oh, I love you so much. All right, Rose can sit here. You can sit next to me. This is the fishies. So, if you're ever needing to settle your baby in the evening... <laughs> Are you watching me? Are you watching me? Can you say hello to everybody? Can you say hello? Hi! Hi, yeah! Oh my goodness! I love you so much. Can you show everybody how you do this? Really? I love you. <laughs> I love you. I love you. So I was just about to show you guys the bits that I picked up in Home Bargains the other day because I didn't even show you. But I was just about to say we've hit a slight hiccup. But we literally have. The hiccups have given us a bit of a hiccup. I also applied some tan today because obviously I was working and when I had filmed some clips I looked back and I was like wow I look so sleepy pale oops sorry sorry oh. it didn't hurt him but he just wants it's a bit sad daddy he wants a cuddle yes yeah, so the tan that I used was the Isle of Paradise one I'll show you guys in a minute but um yeah, so I thought I'd show you the home bargains bits and then there's this tangle teaser box. I don't even know if I showed you guys already this, but um, I got it in PR the other day. I have got quite a lot of PR to show you, so I might just save it for another video. It's actually a little kid's one, so there's a kid's detangling spray. Pia's already opened this, she's obsessed with it. A unicorn tangle teaser and then a brush for me. I literally love these brushes, they're my favourite. And this colour is so cute. And then we've got a scalp brush, which I love a scalp brush. I've got one in the shower currently, so very happy with that. That was just next to the home bargain stuff, so I thought I'd show you guys quickly. So they had so many nice bits in Matterland today. I'm definitely going to go back in a couple of weeks' time. Um, we didn't really want to stay in there long this evening because it is the kids' bedtime. And we actually bumped into Con's mum, which is so random because, like, when would we ever go to Matterland at that time? <laughs> so random. But yeah, I got for you this hat. So cute. £4.50 this was. I picked them both up some slippers. But they both put the one in the car. And as soon as Noah got out of the car, he tried in a puddle. So that's great. But he got these little shark ones. I think these were £6 or £6.50 each. How cute are they? So nice. Also picked him up some new wellies. That is the main reason we went there today was to get wellies and con. Did you try the shirt on? Yeah, I wore it. That's was it all right? Yeah, it's a bit long. No, literally perfect. Okay. Got some wellies for Noah as well. Can't believe I'm this mum now because if you watched my videos when we first had Noah, you would never catch him in something like this. He was in neutrals all the time and now I'm just not that mum anymore. I am with character clothing parents now, Spider aren't we? Spider-Man, Marvel, Fear's got Peppa Pig. Yeah, though, a bit of colour is good. Yeah. But we picked this up for Rome, so he's not actually got a pram suit yet. And I thought this one's good because it's waterproof for when he goes in the carrier. So if we're on the school run, I can put him in the carrier in this and he can have his hood up and stuff and he will be dry, which is really nice. This was £18. Um, it's size 0 to 3. I am a little bit worried. Not that it's going to be too small, but just a little bit too small in the sense that he's going to grow out a bit really quickly. So we're going to try it on him. He's just really long. Um, we had the helper stuff come around yesterday and she did his height and his weight and his head measurements and stuff, but she was gonna text me all the measurements and she never did. But when she measured him, she was like, I think he's gonna be on like the 98th centile. <laughs> and Noah was always that high up as well, because they're so long. And then really randomly, but I picked these up for Fia because we just need clips for her hair all the time. 
And we've learned our mistake by giving her nice hair clips, hair clips at her nursery um, that she's not returning to, which is a whole nother story. But I did say I had a few updates in this video. And that is one of the updates I wanted to give you is that we have taken her out her nursery. And hopefully she's going to be starting with a childminder, which I'm very excited about. We just had a bit of a palaver, let's say. Not just with her current nursery, but the nursery that she was going to be starting at. You know that you have to stand up. <laughs> How do babies know the difference? <laughs> I really hope she'll be starting this new childminder very soon. Actually, I need to text her back because we are going to like look round as such um next friday we couldn't do this friday because we are obviously heading to a wedding um but now onto the bits that we picked up in home bargains starting off with this bag honestly there's nothing really exciting in here but just thought i'd show you guys anyway do you want to go get fia's costume bub this bag smells divine we've got all these halloween decorations that we need to put up really because halloween is literally around the corner how cute is this one? Just think they're like really simple ones that you can also just keep throughout the years, can't you? Balloons. I'm not gonna lie, Connor picked up most of the Halloween stuff, so yeah. I don't know what it is, and I don't know if any other mum has this. I just have to pick them up water bottles all the time. I've got this weird obsession with water bottles. But I saw this and I thought this was really, really cute. Um, and this one is so cute as well. And we're just trying to get them to drink more water, and a lot of their bottles are quite small. So I thought these were really nice. There was a princess one, I'm pretty sure, with letters on as well, but I couldn't find an S. And it was like right on the top shelf. So I just picked up this one. I do actually think this one's really cute anyway. So yeah, I picked up them in Home Bargains. Now this is what I'm really excited for. Honestly, this is going to be the most rubbish haul ever. But this I am so excited for. Can you get her witch costume on the table? Is a limited edition winter indulgence the scent is. And it's vanilla and oud. That is literally me to a tea. It smells so nice. And I obviously got the fabric conditioner as well. Oh my God, that just smells so incredible. Our washing is gonna smell so nice. Every time that we do our vintage parcels, we always get people message us about our washing. Um, this is actually probably our all time favorite scent, Gold Orchid. And this is also um, like vanilla base, I'm pretty sure. This combination together is gonna make our clothes smell divine. So I'm excited for us to do our first wash with that tonight or in the morning. And then let me show you the Halloween bits. I don't know if you guys have seen, I did show you before the jar, sweet jar that we've got is like a pumpkin. And we've got that from Home Bargains as well. This is Fia's witch costume that she has chosen. My mum used to put me in a bin bag and <laughs> we'd go in Tesco and we'd get those plastic fingers with the nails on. And then the plastic like vampire teeth. Do you know what I'm talking about? I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. And then yeah, she'd put me in like a bin bag and put some like eyeliner on my face. That was the vibes. We've got some little spiders. We have bunting. This is cute. And then we have this skeleton. I think we're actually gonna be at Connor's mum's on Halloween. A pumpkin skeleton. Cat's missing its eye. Put that back there. That's Fia's little trick-or-treating bag. And Noah chose Frankenstein. They currently are obsessed with super monsters on Netflix. And Noah has now decided he doesn't want to be a pumpkin. He literally says he wants to be a pumpkin every year. Um, he wants to be a vampire. Like Drac, I think he said he was called. Um, but yeah, that concludes my really interesting shopping haul. We found on YouTube, it was like, how to draw and it teaches you how to draw certain things like he was drawing an ice cream and a pizza and that kept him busy for hours so i highly recommend doing that if you've got um like a toddler obviously like more on the older side like fear couldn't draw what they were drawing so you literally just need to search up on youtube how to draw and then they come up um so yeah that's a good tip yeah i feel like this vlog is probably maybe long enough i'm not entirely sure um, if it's not, I can carry on vlogging tomorrow, but, but I've got lots of videos coming up anyway. I'm trying to be so active on YouTube because I do really like it. I feel like it's such a nice personal level and I love watching people's YouTube videos. So yeah, I have another weekly diaries coming soon, which will include actually a really exciting white fox haul because you guys know I love white fox. I'm actually wearing some, well, you guys saw the joggers earlier. Um, 
but these are like years old i got these when i was in our old house which by the way is going to be two years ago this year i can't believe that at all like yesterday i can't believe we've been in this house two years what i know i haven't been getting up to like a crazy amount of stuff but newborn life half term life working mum life it's just yeah we're doing the best we can um but yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll hopefully see you guys soon